give us a sense of how the future you can see of European technology companies coming over the Atlantic in this country. Yeah, I mean, we really see a huge pipeline of European companies looking to lift on NASDAQ. It's the first time it's happened in a few many years. Um, so we're encouraged about 20 in the pipeline. We just had a listing from France today. It was Critio, um, which will start trading on NASDAQ this morning. We'll do the closing bell later this afternoon. And how will you persuade these European companies to go to NASDAQ when they go across the Atlantic? What about the NYSC? I mean, you've lost like the Twitter to these sort of competitors. Well, NASDAQ's still the home of technology. 75% of all technology companies in the U.S. are listed on NASDAQ. We're home to companies like Apple, Google, Amazon, the most admired brands in the world. So I think we're a great place for tech companies. And I also think when you look at European tech companies, they look at the peers, they look at the analyst coverage, they look at the investors that they're going to get when they come to the U.S. markets. And you know, NASDAQ's home to tech, so we feel good about our position. How, what about the IPO pipeline? Are you seeing it just crescendoing? Will it continue? Will we be seeing a lot of optimism about the pipeline building? Well, actually, we sent out a press release today that we've had 100 IPOs on NASDAQ uh, so far this year. So that's a record number since 2007. So we're encouraged by that. I think the, if you look at the deals that have gone out recently over the last six months, they're pricing well, they're trading well. I think investors are looking for new new things to invest in. I think these are great companies that are coming to market. So the pipeline is very strong for the rest of the year, and I see it really continuing into 2014. We're in the hub of technology for Europe. What about the emerging markets? You know, I, I still think the emerging markets have some time to come forward. I mean, we, we've talked to companies in Latin America. Um, we have companies from China that have listed on, on NASDAQ. We have about 90 companies from China. Um, so I still think there's, there's some companies that will come forward. Um, I think it's a maturation process, right? So when companies get a certain size, they'll be ready to access the U.S. markets, and we'll be ready for them. And when you think of a European hub, we've got many buying. We have London. We have... Berlin trying to get itself on the map, as well as, indeed, Dublin. Where would you see as the European hub of technology? You know, I think there's, there's definitely, we're seeing the unique part about the 20 companies I talked about. We're seeing companies from Spain, from, from London, from Ireland, from, you know, across several countries in Europe. So uh, there is no one sector. I think everybody wants to really grasp that technology flavor because that's what drives the economy. And I think Ireland's done a great job in marketing itself to tech companies, and that's why they're uh, in the strong position they are in today. And you say technology is driving the economy. Is it going to be the industry to help turn around in terms of global growth? Yeah, I think we're definitely seeing the economies in the U.S. start to improve. And I think, you know, a lot of that's being led by great innovations in technology. So um, I think that trend can continue. Bruce, it's been wonderful speaking to you. Thank, Thank you very much. Yes. Um, if we're just, uh, we did discuss it just very briefly then, but indeed we are talking about the competition perhaps luring over from the to the NYSE. Give me a sense about how you think the Twitter IPO will indeed go and the sense of, I guess, uh, how upset were you crestfallen when you heard that you had been picked? You know, we, we compete for every deal, but we're very happy with the companies that are listed on NASDAQ. We've had great success attracting companies that have switched. Marriott just switched from our competitor to us. Vimplecom just switched from our competitor to us. So it's a competitive market in the U.S., and we win uh, a majority of the deals, and we're proud of that. And do you think that Facebook, many would say, debacle is out of people's mind? You know, I think people are looking at the markets in long term, and, and that's what we're looking at for as well. So, so you, do you feel you've made the provisions, put the backstops in place to make sure that people have the confidence to come with you? Yes, yes. We, we've had over 100 listings so far this year. We've got a great pipeline of companies in the, that are coming to us for the end of the year. Uh, and we're excited about uh, where the next few companies are going to come from. What would you say was your key pitch headline when you say, why NASDAQ versus NYS? Well, NASDAQ's home of innovation. We're home of the entrepreneurs that are really changing the world. And I think if you're an innovative company and you're looking to take your company to the next level, then the home is NASDAQ. Okay, Thank you very much indeed. Wonderful to meet you. Thank you. Appreciate the time. <laughs>